So are you keeping well? Yes, we're keeping very well, mate. Uh, legs are back to normal. Uh, sort of calmed down a little bit. The uh, the uh, the old backside might be still out in a little bit, but other than that, we're fine. Goodness gracious me. Now, our national treasure is awarded to someone that we think maybe sometimes flies under the radar, although you've done a lot of stuff, actually, Dave, to be fair, who really is the lifeblood, the spine, as it were, of our great nation. And when we announce someone as a national treasure every single week, we give them a big round of applause initially. So, come on, there we go. That got me. Well done, Dave. Well done. Dave, what's the hardest thing you've ever done? Um, well, that's a very good question. All adventures that I've done, all challenges that I've done have obviously been hard, but they've all got their own memories, they've all got their own pain, they've all got their own banter and laughter that goes with it. So, I mean, I've, I've run across the desert and that was a bit hot and a bit uh, high at times. I never realised there was mountains in the Sahara Desert. Um, jumping off that boat alongside Alcatraz Prison, hitting that water, very cold, uh, currents very strong. That was uh, no mean feat and, uh, yeah, made me wince a little bit. But uh, I think they all hold that kind of, um, dare I say, you know, that, that, that kind of hardship. But uh, to identify one as, as hard is, um, is very, very difficult because they're, uh, yeah, they all tax the body somewhat. Why on earth do you do it, Dave, you nutter? Uh, yeah, probably right, and that's the exact word. I probably <laughs> think of some others, but nutter will spring to mind at this moment in time. <laughs> Absolutely, you know. This is incredible. And have you got any idea how much money you've managed to raise roughly as a total for everything that you've done? Yeah, we, we, we've estimated it's, uh, it's over £3 million pounds now okay. and uh, obviously always on the uprise. So, um, you know, but I mean, money and the funding is very important. But I also think that creating awareness for the, the relevant charities is also important. So, you know, it's like you, I would say, is a sponsor for them, but I don't anymore because I'll create the awareness factor to you and then it's your decision whether you support or not. But, uh, you know, yeah. it's all important, isn't it, awareness, funding and uh, being a bit crazy. Absolutely. Now, look, Dave, I hope you don't mind me bringing this up at all. You are affectionately known, I'm reliably informed anyway, as, as Blind Dave. Would you mind talking yeah. to me a bit about what life is like for you in that regard and, uh, and what, what happened, I suppose, in terms of that? Were you, were you born blind at all or did it, did it come on? Yeah, well, yeah, just, I mean, I never mind talking about it because the more that you talk about it, the more people, you know, g gain that awareness for blindness. Um, I was born with a disease called retinitis pigmentosa. It's hereditary through my, my granddad. The male is the sufferer and the female is the carrier. I was... Um, oh. um, uh, at 10 years of age, when I was uh, taken to the Birmingham Eye Hospital, diagnosed with the, the said complaint, always had night blindness, never seen in dark places. And from the age of 10 onwards, you know, it was in my head, but I never really took much notice because I could still see a bit. At the age of 18, when I wanted to join the armed forces, basically the three words, son, you're exempt, made me realise what blindness was going to do to me. And at that particular moment in time, it was going to rob me of a life. I went two years or so where I felt sorry for myself and, you know, quite rightly so, I think a lot of people do. At the end of it, it was a case of, is somebody going to continue wiping my backside for the rest of my life or am I going to get on with living? And I hope that I got on with living. And I now look upon blindness as a gift because it's gifted me, well... I would never have got to places that I've visited. I've never got to have done all the adventures. I've met all sorts of people. So now I really, you know, it's, it's not to be scoffed at because excuse my French here, if somebody always asks the question, what is it like to be blind? And the answer is bloody awful. But you've got to get on with living, haven't you? You know, you've got to, you've got to sort the cards that you've didn't, been dealt with. And hopefully I have. So I've looked on the positive side. So I try to help. I try to move. Uh, I'm a carpenter as well. And I've got all eight fingers and two thumbs. Yeah. Um, mix up the furniture and all the rest of it. So, yeah, I mean, blindness is one of those things. It's a little bit of a problem when you want to get into a car and stay wet in the, in the winter. But okay. if that's my only problem, I'll keep... Keep on trucking.
I tell you what, that is a proper national treasure. Dave Heaney there, OBE. Thank you very much. Dave, you're an inspiration to absolutely everybody. Very much the best of British. You got a clap on the way in, you're going to get a clap on the way out as well. This week's national treasure, Dave Heaney. What a mighty fine man. Best of Thank British. You, Thank you, Richard. Richard, yeah. before I shoot, can I use the just giving? Yeah, yeah. What? Which one? The one for the one or the one for you? You mean you're just giving? Yeah, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. Do for, it uh, for the last uh, escape from Colditz, which was for the Albion Foundation, and anybody who's got a spare copper or two or even hundred pound, if they go on to the justgive.com forward slash Team Blind Dave escape from Al uh, from Colditz, we would truly appreciate any donation. Thank you.